Feel the power, warriors, and welcome to Coach Ark's Smart Training Strategies. Today, we will present a new way of doing this old butterfly stretch. So here's the butterfly stretch. And we all know, most of us know, they teach you everywhere. Karate classes, PE classes, uh, maybe even gymnastics, dance classes. A very important stretch, right? Butterfly stretch. To do it right, you gotta bring your uh, heels to your center line, center line here, bring it close, keep your feet together, and uh, here you can bring your knees close to the floor, push down on the inside, inner part of your uh, thighs or knees. And if you can get them to the floor, that's a pretty good flexibility. I can't right now. Uh, but in about 20 minutes I could if I stretch more. So anyway, uh, for many uh, people, uh, this stretch is not effective because uh, they have very low flexibility. So they cannot bring the heels to the center line, nor can they bring the knees very low uh, to the floor. Uh, it is hard for them to even grab the feet because of uh, low back inflexibility, very rigid lower back, very rigid here. Uh, they end up doing this. That's all they can do. You see? So here's a way to eliminate this obstacle of having your back, low back uh, inflexibility and uh, preventing you from uh, doing an effective IT band and hip flexor stretch for your, uh, for your legs. It doesn't mean that you should not stretch your lower back, but if you want to do an effective butterfly stretch and uh, make it easier on your neck and back uh, where they don't inhibit the butterfly stretch, you want to change your position. You want to change your position, get to a wall, uh, something solid, elevate your legs, get your butt close to the wall, and what you need to do, you need to make sure your neck and head and a torso are resting, resting on the floor, relax. Then you bend your legs, and uh, depending on your flexibility, you try to maneuver. It's easier to maneuver here because your back is not an issue now. Your head is not an issue. Uh, uh, now, in this position, if you feel comfortable. Uh, also, you'll notice there's more blood going to the, uh, to the head. So, uh, for those with high blood pressure, it may not be the best position. Uh, just like an inversion table may not be. Uh, however, all the other warriors, you can uh, uh, assume this position uh, and then grab a piece of bed or, or some kind of a rope or a piece of cloth, towel, and put your feet around it. And now you can easily control how low and how close you want to bring your feet, how close to the center line, center line, center line away from the center line, close to the center line. Um, you can also use your hands to push down on your knees. And you can use your hands to pull the uh, feet closer to the center line. And it really gives you a lot of room to maneuver where and your back is not stopping you from doing anything. Very comfortable position here. Uh, hope you like this stretch and hope you like this uh, difference in position and you can still use your butterfly stretch feels good spend at least two minutes there relax uh, play around with it uh, and you know uh, make sure uh, you don't have any uh, issues with blood pressure which would not be the best uh, if you have issues with blood pressure uh, do not use this position inversions are contraindicated to individuals with high blood pressure Hope you like, hope you like this video and hope this is helpful. Please subscribe to our channel and feel the power.